Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and in this study vlog, I take you through a few productive college days in my life. And I have been doing so much studying these days while still trying to maintain a healthy balance between my other hobbies and my personal life. So before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe and let's get productive. Hey guys, so I was just working on one of my chemistry calibration marking tasks. That makes no sense, but it's for my orgo chem class and I kind of just need to get it out of the way. It was honestly just a completion mark, but I haven't done orgo since like late grade 11, which is literally years ago. So not only is my chemistry pretty weak already, but I haven't done this type of chem in a really long time. So to say I'm rusty is an understatement, but I'm definitely trying to practice a lot to try to get back into the groove of things because I would say that orgo is fun. It just takes a little warming up too. So now I'm just going to transition to biology and get some notes out. All my bio modules are written in like online. There's nothing synchronous, nothing live. And I don't really know if I love that. I'm basically reading like a handwritten textbook because the prof is writing the modules. I would just say the course delivery of my bio course this semester is not my favorite. And I might have a hard time learning, but also I can take it at my own pace and I can read really fast. So... I don't know. <laughs> so like I was saying, the delivery of my microbiology course is strictly through written modules, which has both its pros and its cons. It's definitely not the best for people who have a hard time focusing, but it can save you so much time because you can easily find and reread parts of the unit without having to play back hour long recordings. Also just a side note, I want to let you guys know that this video is actually filmed over the course of like two weeks. So you'll see me studying the same things over and over again, but I'm just doing different units. But Anyways, after finishing up this part of the bio module, Alicia and I decided to go to the mall for a little bit. Oh, we are crying. <laughs> favorite author Karen Slaughter. She wrote Pretty Girls, which should be here somewhere. It's right here. This is one of my favorite books of all time. It didn't look like this when I bought it. It was actually a much bigger version. I have read The Kept Woman as well. Hey guys, so I'm back. As you saw, I went to Indigo with Alicia. I just picked up a few books. Now I'm actually going to get into this meeting. I'm actually very excited, a little bit nervous, but I'll be sure to tell you guys more about it if it is successful. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Then after my meeting and doing some work for my elective, which is recreation and leisure by the way, I decided to continue with my chemistry module. From what I can see, I believe I'm working on orbitals, which was just review from first year. Hey guys, so I finished my meeting earlier as you saw and it actually ran pretty long so that was a little unexpected but I've just been working on some bio and chem since then and it's been about like three hours since I got home and I'm starting to lose focus like my brain is just tapping out right now so I'm actually going to take a little break because I deserve one and if you guys have seen my Notion video then you know that one of my fall 2021 goals was to take screenless breaks so I'm actually going to get started on the book that I just picked up it's by Karen Slaughter it's called False Witness so I'm going to read a couple chapters and I can't wait to start so I'm going to get reading. <laughs> 
I only love to read psychological thrillers, so if you're also interested in this genre, I recommend Karen Slaughter, of course. I also loved Gillian Flynn's work. She wrote Gone Girl, Dark Places, and Sharp Objects. I've also read some of Sherry Lapina's books. She's more of a light psychological thriller writer, I would say. She wrote The Couple Next Door, The End of Her, but those are like three to four stars out of five, whereas Slaughter and Flynn books are almost always five stars out of five stars, in my opinion. Hey guys, it's actually pretty early today because I had to wake up and film my morning routine. That video is going to come out later than this one, so make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified when that video goes live. Okay, self plug. Um, I think today's going to be a huge biology day for me because this unit is really small and I just want to get it out of the way so I can focus on chemistry in the next few days. So that's what I'm going to do this afternoon and I might go out later with Alicia, but I'm not sure yet. <music> Hey guys, so I'm going to the library with Alicia and I need to pack my tote bag right now because she's going to be here really soon, so yeah. So I'm just using this huge tote bag that I got from Leah and Alexandra. Chemistry modules and notebook. Biology notebook. Obviously I have to take my MacBook. Keyboard. Mouse and headphones. Of course, I need to take my mask and my wallet. And I'm going to pack my laptop charger because I don't know how long we're going to stay for. Um, and I think that is about it. Of course, I have to take my tripod because I'm going to vlog while I'm there. I'm going to bring up both my tripods, this one and my handheld. Also, I'm just going to take some of my Muji pens and that's about it. I love this tote bag. It fits literally everything. I just need to grab my keys. I need keys as well. I also think this is going to be my library fit because this is like the most comfortable, but I am going to grab a sweater because it might get cold because the building's probably going to be air conditioned. Let's get going. <laughs> Honestly, haven't been doing too much besides watching some K-dramas, which is okay. It's good to take breaks. Some days you don't do anything, but I'm actually going to get dressed in a little bit because Alicia's going to come grab me and I think we're just going to go for a drive. Just get some more girl time in, but when I get back, I plan on doing some chem, so yeah. <laughs> The 
Because I had a pretty chill morning and afternoon, I wanted to be productive in the night to stay on track of the weekly schedule I had planned out for myself. I think a lot of you guys assume I'm super productive and busy every hour of every day, but I just wanted to show you guys that I can be lazy too, like in the morning clip. So don't feel bad if you've been slow getting back into the groove of studying or going to school. The feeling is 100% mutual. Hey guys, good morning. So I managed to finish that biology unit that I set out to complete and I'm so happy that it's done now. And today I can focus solely on chemistry because I am a little bit behind. It's nothing serious. I'm just like a day or two behind schedule. So I'm definitely gonna be playing a little catch up today, but it's fine, it's totally manageable. So I'm just going to get started on that and I'll check back in a little later. So I've actually been trying to curb this habit because it's not great for my health or for my wallet But I just ordered some uber eats. I got a and w because i've been doing chemistry for the last like two hours without any breaks And I totally deserve a break and then maybe i'll do more work or I just might call it a night just doing some light work for my elective. I know in my last video, I was talking about switching both the electives I chose and I did end up doing that. I replaced one geography with another and then I switched my music course to rec and leisure and I'm actually really happy with my choices this time around and I won't be switching again. Hi guys, good morning. Why do I look so tired? Oh my god, just ignore the eye bags. I swear I'm doing fine. But anyways, I have been doing a lot of editing this morning. I've been slacking on the uploads this month. I've just been so busy, so please forgive me. I should be taking a break from editing right now to actually do my chemistry assignment, so I thought I'd pop on and say hi. And I think I'm just gonna stay at home today. I don't really have any plans to go out, so yeah. So anyways, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. I really appreciate all of your patience. While my posting schedule has been kind of weird, it'll definitely be fixed next month. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!